Chad. Hey, Chad. Hey, Chad.
and your peace to families and close friends who remember them. To those of us as we uh, mature and, and, and grow in years, we do ask uh, as we face illnesses and injuries uh, in our lives that you would, by your spirit, give us a sense of uh, strength and encouragement, both in body as well as in spirit. We ask your blessing now on our again on our time together this evening on the food that we are about to receive, and pray too that if it be your will, you would bless our service of you. Amen. Okay, up on the up above.
uh, this, this past year. Um, they're listed in the back of the program. If you would all please stand up so we can thank you publicly for all your work. Would you please just stand up where you are? The first one goes to, are you, we're going to get t-shirts out. Did you see them? Did you all see the t-shirts? We had to turn it up. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Remember the people. The first one goes to the first RSVP that was received in my house on June 28th. And I think it was like three days after they were mailed out. And that goes to Paula Kim. Paula. I'd like to welcome everybody too, and a couple people I'd like to recognize for their assistance this evening. Sitting at the back table, helping us check everyone in, was uh, Stacy Chick and uh, Mark Sinadak. Thank you for having second RSVP received, which was from uh, Bud Babcock on June the 29th. <laughs> well, now I got one more to the kids. <laughs> At least I'm not in fourth place. Hello. Um, we don't want to forget about tomorrow. Tomorrow we have planned an afternoon at Sherolles. It is on Salt Springs Road. There are maps. Pete is holding up a map. If you missed a map, please help yourself. You're welcome to come. If you didn't make reservations, you can still come. Uh, it's 4.50. Luncheon will be served. It's an open bar. It is not an open bar. It is a cash bar. <laughs> Debbie's paying. <laughs> um, the next award goes to the 70th classmate reservation because we graduated in 1970. Get it? Um, it is goes to Jeannie Zimmerman Warner. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. Okay, and I'm for the last person to give us a word. Now, but first of all, I'd like to let you know that there are extra t-shirts available. If you'd like to purchase one, they are $10. We have large and extra large. And in a couple weeks, if you think, oh, I wish I would have had one of those t-shirts, you can call Debbie up. And she will order one for you. So, and the next award goes to anyone here with the youngest child. So, get your ages together. And if you think you have the youngest child, raise your hand. We need numbers. Raise your hand. We need numbers. Yes, over here, Cheryl. Three years old? Three years old. Anyone younger than a three-year-old child? They have a two year old. Younger than a three year old. They got it back. Two. They have a two. D. Two. 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 And a two. What is the month? Give us the birthday, Steve. Oh, January. Oh, January. January. May 27th. May 27th. Two in January. So she's coming up. Go, Dad. Oh, 
could have done it without my wife. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll let her wear the t-shirt. Oh, well. <laughs> We'd like to thank our disc jockey tonight, Mike Damiano, who's from the Wilson class of 70. They didn't have a reunion, so we invited him to ours. Thanks, Mike. The next prize goes to the uh, classmate who has the biggest age span between children. With the same husband. <laughs> Or wife. Or wife, yeah. Who gets that one? Let, let's hear some. Anybody uh, have any uh, 14 years apart? Youngest, oldest? Oh, too much. How about 12? Is this math too hard? <laughs> 10? 10 years. Between. We now we have to get a little closer. Uh, like, like, is it 10 years and so many months or under 10? Oh, somebody's got 11. Oh, I'm sorry. Jerry. Just oldest to the youngest. Right, oldest to youngest. 11. 11 years. Anybody beat it? Okay, Jerry, I guess you win. Same way. That's good. That's good. Good job. <laughs> Last Saturday, I received a phone call from one of our classmates down in Florida, Cindy Channel Guest, who was planning to come to the reunion, but because of the budget problems in Washington, being a federal employee, they canceled her vacation last Friday as she was packing to leave. So anyway, she asked me to wish you all well and to let you know that she was thinking about you and if you would like, I'll get you her address and you can, or it's in probably the book, uh, you can send her some cards and letters and let her know that you missed her. Uh, Cindy. Cindy Channel Guest. And uh, let's see, the next prize goes to the highest check number received. And that's uh, Gretchen Casmer Van Cure. Number 9,675. What they give her? I like you. Good job, Gretchen. Ben Watcher. We leave it like two thousand. Well, if you didn't get your picture taken, it's too late. Um, the programs with the pictures, the picture books, will be mailed out after January 1st. So they're, they will be printed and proofed. Um, Debbie does most of that. Thank you, Debbie. Um, if you feel like you would like a picture, if your picture came out great and you want to reprint, those are available. Get in touch with us, we'll find out, we'll let you know how you can get them. Uh, they will not be mailed out till after January. Uh, next prize goes to the person with the oldest grandchild. So, Grandma, stand up and tell us who you are. <laughs> Who's got a grandchild? Oh, she's a grandchild. How old? Oh, yeah. Okay, not step grandchildren. It has to be your own. Two in January. Somebody beat that? Sounds like a wiener. Come on. Yeah, I didn't know it was you. <laughs> okay, let's see. 
Um, Hold it farther away. Could someone hold this for me? Mike. And I'm going to give out an award for a birthday. Is there anyone here that has a birthday today? Any birthdays? Is there anyone that has a birthday near today, before or after? Closest to today? Phyllis. Phyllis? Yeah. I think we need some November birthdays, so yell out some birthdays. November Don't be afraid. 3rd. November 3rd. Anybody closer than November, November 3rd? Jack. Jack. Pardon me? November 13th? December 6th? No, we need closer. 13th. We need it closer. Closer to today's date. November 13th. What is it? December 9th. December 9th. December 3rd. December 3rd. December 3rd. We all slept through her class. Don't remember who she was. We all slept through her class. I'm teaching now. Nine days. December 3rd. Anyone closer than nine days from this date? Today's November 24th. You can do that on two hands. Keep the thumb away. Okay, who's December 3rd? No, I was happy. Happy. Happy birthday. Come on up. Oh, no. Somebody is. Kathy graduated early. She's only going to be 41. Before she held back the fourth grade for you? Yeah, but they, they moved her ahead even after that. Okay. We're thinking um, tentatively about a three day cruise for the 30 day or 30 year reunion in the year 2000. Uh, do you have any thoughts on that? And we, we would have to arrange it real early. Yeses or noes? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it would be in the uh, in the summertime. We haven't done any homework. Well, I haven't done any homework on it yet. But um, I don't think it would be too difficult to do. We would send out um, maybe postcards after the first of the year while all the addresses are pretty current for this reunion. Um, and let everybody know if we're doing it or not for sure. And then so people can save over the next five years. It would be in the summer of the year 2000. And I don't know where we'd go. We'd have to uh, figure that out and make sure it's not uh, hurricane season and, and all that. How do you feel about that rather than a reunion like we've had the last four times? Great. talk about it some more. We'll think about it. We just wanted to see how you felt about it. Uh, the next prize goes to the classmate who has an anniversary today or closest to today. Not counting me. <laughs> Anybody in the last week or the coming week? Next coming week? Oh. Come on. That's up. Any November anniversaries? When the when? Nine? Anybody closer than November 9th? It's 15 days. It's 15 days. Okay, you win. Win the beer in November. Now we need to know who the oldest classmate is. Anyone want to admit to that? Do we have anybody here that was born in 1950 and graduated in seven? Okay, there's one there. What month in 1950? September. September of 1950. Anybody before that? Whoa. Wow. So we got a winner. Wow. <laughs> Come on, 
Now, if you'd all uh, fill your hands with the beverage of your choice, I'd like to propose a toast. Go get one. <laughs> Some of us come prepared. Water, Phyllis. Hey, when you're desperate. I'd like to make this toast to dreams yet to come, to health, happiness, and a good life, and to the class of 1970. Cheers. Cheers. And have fun tonight.
behind from where we came and go round and round and round in the circle again. Sixteen springs and sixteen summers gone now. Cartwheels turn to car wheels through the town. Take your time because it won't be long now Till you drag your feet just to slow the circles down Here we go And the seasons, they go round and round And the painted ponies go up and down We're captive on a carousel Turn, we can only look behind from where we came and go round and round and round in the circle game. So the years spin by, now the boy is twenty, though his dreams have lost a lot of grandeur. There'll be new dreams, maybe better dreams There'll be plenty of new dreams Before the last revolving year is through And the seasons, they go round and round And the painted ponies go On the carousel of time We can't return We can only look Behind from where we came And go round and round And round in the circle game And go round and round And round in the circle game